Oh, oh. wow. That is special Ten, from Grigor Dimitrov. What a shot Grigor. to start off the day. Take the next count two. Oh, Grigor. I mean, I haven't hit one of those in a while, so <laughs> it kind of made my day now, whatever the outcome is. <laughs> yeah. Big miss hit from Dimitri, who just pounced on that. Yeah, he's gone. Oh. That one, though. Beautiful from Kriegel, right on the line. Good hands. Records there. Five, four. I think the who was Two. a little slow in. Uh, uh, I'm burning. It's burning. It. I'm burning too. I'm sweating more than you. You want to come? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, wow. Oh. That is special Ten, from Grigor Dimitrov. What a shot Grigor. to start off the day. The next count two. Oh, is using the 14. Oh, pretty six. perfect, isn't it? Perfect Grigor. use of the UTS card from the Bulgarian. Oh, that wasn't 14 no. 10. Oh, who puts away the volley? So claws back to within four. Grigor. So that means even if your opponent hits the ball really far out, you're still going to hit the volley. Just before we get started, that backhand pass you hit, that was pretty special, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I haven't hit one of those in a while, so <laughs> it kind of made my day now, whatever the outcome is. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be good. It's going to be Mahu to start off here. Uh, anyway. Nice touch. One, zero. Really nice start Zero. from the Who, couple of the Muscatatic volleys. Heart, my heart was in my mouth when I saw him doing that again. 5 3. The Muscatel. Yeah. But I needed I needed you to uh, to buzz because I need to deal the frustration now. Yeah. Take a deep breath and rest a little. And now we you have to choose when you're gonna take the, the card for two points. Yeah. Do you want to do it right now or maybe play a few more points and then uh, eight six eight, eight all? I think I'm gonna use the not right now the one before okay. the one after. Okay. That's good from Mahu. Nine, eight. Should make him feel a bit better. The I think there. this really helped. Yeah. Because when you're up and then the other one is coming back, you do get a little bit. Yeah, and again, two 13, quick fire points. And Mahu once again finds himself in front. The What a miss from Grigor. I believe that he's missed it. And the who survives just and levels the quarter up. I honestly don't know what the, you know, I've deserved to have such a tough call. I, I mean, if there's somebody that didn't want to tell me something, come say it in my face. That's unbelievable. I feel like I got robbed. Daytime rob on three calls. Oh, my God. What are you going to do different in the next one? I don't know, maybe don't hit the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes from now. Then we'll pair Corentin Mute. What a matchup that should be. 1 0. Rigo. Two of the most unpredictable players around, Pear and Mute. Six, five. He's been serving so well in this corner. Oh, 
good second volley, didn't Eight, quite do seven. enough with the first smash, but made absolutely Eight, sure of the backhand volley. Done. That's good. Beard's good. Oh, oh great this pick is up. Such a pick up. Eight. Yes. Diego. Diego is using the next bomb. Comes two UTS card. White is made. It looks so easy, didn't he? It's gone quarter past three here. 14, 13. Finds the ace with the double pointer. So who there. takes the lead again? Ten seconds to go. Oh, it's long. So, 14, in a drama in this third quarter. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve. No. Second serve of the sequence on the output. Okay. This might have one serve. Second serve. What's happening now? No, I think he's uh, Regal's confused here. I think he thought he just had one serve. One serve. Okay, let's play normal. That's what he did in, uh, last weekend against Mute. He double faulted in uh, sudden death to Dimitrov to lose it. He goes long. So, bit of drama, bit of confusion. What was going on there? A little bit of confusion? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I hope I speak English correctly, but I'm just saying second serve on the sequence means second serve only. Yeah, that's what I thought so, you said. So, yeah, so that's what he said. So I thought it was just second serve on the outside. So ah, okay. what, what am I supposed to do in the end? I wanted to play serve and volley anyway. Right. So, and then I confused Nico as well. I mean, I, I hate it, but I mean, uh, <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> You know, your opponent feels bad about the way this tiebreaker ended. Does that help you? <laughs> Not really, <laughs> unless he's giving me the set. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's feeling that bad. No, but the... the um I think was not clear enough. Uh, first, at first, I uh, understood the same way as him. I thought he had to play second serve, but then I realized there is no reason he has to play second serve. But uh, uh, anyway, and I have to put my return uh, in the court. So it's nothing, I mean, it's, it's all on me. Good shot. 2-0. Oh, that's brilliant. Four, Absolutely one. brilliant from the Musketeer. The Musketeer. Really well to control that lob, didn't he, Mahu? That's very good. Six, five. Turning this around so quickly. Dimitrov looks to be really hitting the ball nicely now. Seven, six. Yeah, he forgot no. Dimitrov that he had to win in three. You must win the point in Grishan's maps. Man, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, he does. Seven. Beautiful oh. touch from Grigor Dimitrov. Yeah, 
you try do. to make the point yourself. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. It's another one caught the line. Just judging from Grigor's reaction, I think it has. He feels like he can't catch much of a breakout here at the moment. Oh, wow. Special from Grigor. Grigor is using Yeah, he is in pole position now. The next point comes to UTS Carl. Eleven right. nine. Oh, nothing with that last forehand. Eleven ten. So, Vigo. Maybe this isn't all over just Vigo yet. Is Eleven ten. Are we going to gonna head to another deciding point? Yes. Winners counts for three cards. Oh my. <laughs> Well, when he spoke to his coach, he said that he Sweaty was glad hands. because his hand was so sweaty and... Evidence of it there. It is so hot today. That's not going to give him too much confidence over this second serve, is it? Last point, looking to try and take it to a deciding point. Oh, it's oh, been called out. It was nearly an ace off the net, but it was just long when they share a smile and a joke. It didn't mean much, but it had still had plenty of drama between these two. And Grigor Dimitrov does finally pick up his first win in UTS tennis. Uh, good, I guess. I mean, today was probably one of the uh, one of the hardest days since actually I've been home. So. Um, <laughs> You know, I've played Nico so many times, and it's always, I mean, always pleasure. In the same time, we've, I've, we've known each other forever, and uh, you know, it was also one of those days that was just. I think it came down to a few points here and there, as you guys saw. Yeah, well, that's a UTS format, and what did you make of it? Because obviously, you got a little bit confused a couple of times out there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to remember. Yes and no. I mean, <laughs> I, I think for me, it was just like when you say a sequence of the second serves means like you have only one serve. But what about the win, winning three shots max? You forgot about that one. I, that I definitely forgot. <laughs> that, that I put on me. The rest was just misunderstanding. Well, how is it to be back on the court? Are you feeling better? Because, it's, I mean, it's been great to have you here at UTS. You know, um, I like being here, honestly. It's, uh, it was a pleasure that, uh, that I could just spend some time out here, I think, on the court. Uh, I mean, my, my health right now is pr pr pretty much the, the, the most important thing. I've, I mean, I've felt up and down, to be completely honest with you. Like, there's some days like I don't feel good at all, and there's some days that I just have energy for a certain amount of time. I mean, uh, we all need to respect that, so whatever's happening, you know, in the next months is going to be so delicate, but uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna prioritize my health right now above everything. It's great that we're here, that we're competing, that we're playing against each other, but... Let's not forget, this is just uh, one part of our life. I mean, after that, we're not going to play tennis forever. So for me, I'm, uh, I'm always very cautious when it comes to health. And especially as someone that have gone through that, uh, I mean, we got to respect it.